Greetings everyone. Hope you're having a great day. Today I am going to a fairly new restaurant. I think you call it uh, Yi Sing or Sin? I don't know. You tell me. I'm terrible at language. But it's here in Market City and the sun is super bright. But here is Kamitoku, which we went to last time. And there's the Best Fa, which um, I believe Overjoyed on Oahu went. Cafe Kalia, which is a great breakfast place. Haven't been there in years, Earl, which I went to. And there it is. Yi Sin Cafe. And there's my friend, Derek, waiting for me. He doesn't usually want to be on camera though. <laughs> Hi. This is their menu. They have wings and Malaysian food, Hong Kong food. It's like a Hong Kong cafe. And they have, I guess, curry crab, like Singaporean food as well. There you go. Hong Kong style food, Singaporean food, and Malaysian food. Looks delicious. And supposedly they also own Sigma Tay in Ala Moana, which I also showed in another video. Okay, we got seated. Um, Derek got some reservations. It is quite tiny in here, but a lot of seating. But you might want to make re reservations on a weekend. Our um, server was very nice. And the menu is extensive. Um, my friend doesn't usually want to be on camera, right? <laughs> but I mean, we um, got some wings. Um, what was it? Thai pork cheeks or something cheese, like that? Yeah, Thai pork cheeks and, and the sizzling beef. Sizzling beef. Uh, shrimp fried rice. Shrimp fried rice and the green beans. Yeah, like they're sauteed green beans. So I'm going to assume like Asian food, it's family style, I think. Yeah. yeah, but there are some dishes where you can get it on your own. Like I believe there's like that spaghetti dish and rice plates yeah so I uh, can't wait till the food comes out okay our first appetizer came out in my drink I got the iced Hong Kong milk tea look at how cute that is with the little bear and um, I guess the bear is made out of tea and it's iced and it'll melt into my glass so and then we got our um, chicken wings so let's dig in so we got the shrimp paste wings and I'm not sure what that red stuff is on there. It looks like saffron, but I know saffron is very expensive, so very interesting. So I'm going to taste my milk tea. Mm, so good. I really like Hong Kong milk tea and I only kind of discovered it recently and it's just so good, but but probably so bad for me because it's got a lot of sugar in it. So our next um, item also came out. It's the Thai pork cheeks. It looks really good with a really hot, spicy sauce. Oh my God, I must say the service here is super fast. All these dishes are coming out all at once and I didn't even take a bite out of my first chicken wing. But our sizzling beef also came out. So let's try it. This is the wing. They're all flats, Derek just pointed out, which is good, I like flats. It's really good. It's really tasty. It's got shrimp paste on it, but you don't taste any fishy um, taste. It's just got a umami, savory flavor. And hot and crispy, and if you're a wing fan, you'll like it. And I still don't know what these little things are. Oh, maybe chili. Yeah, try eat it yourself, like just by itself. Yeah, it's chili. Ooh, that's hot. <laughs> interesting way to sneak it in there okay we mopped those wings that was good just bones left and next I guess we'll try the Thai pork cheeks <laughs> it looks really nicely caramelized and it's cut really thin <laughs> all right so I guess you get these little lettuce cups and you put the pork cheeks in there and then you got a little bit of sauce and you put it on there down the hat she goes. Hmm. Oh wow. A lot of lemongrass. <laughs> wow. Oh yeah, the texture is great. So soft. Soft pork, crunchy lettuce, and whoa, it's just an explosion of flavor. That sauce is amazing. It's not too spicy to me, but you do see chili in there, but 
It's more like a very strong lemongrass and ginger flavor. I will try the fried rice. It's got shrimp and some toasted rice on top. And also some peas and egg. Okay, let's just try the rice for now. Mmm. Wow. You can taste that wok in there. So good. Do you taste it? That smoky, yummy flavor. And the crispy puffed rice gives it a nice texture. Sometimes you get a little crunch. Yeah, it's really fluffy rice. It's delicious. And then here's the shrimp. Pretty big amounts of shrimp. Derek said that Uncle Roger would like this rice. He would approve. All right, next we're going to have um, the beans. They're just pretty much green beans sauteed in what looks like the garlic and sambal. This kind of reminds me of like a regular Chinese style stir fried yeah, bean. good though. <laughs> All right, I take that back. The more you eat it, it kind of has like a fish sauce taste, which is actually pleasant. It gives it more flavor, I think. But they do have all these condiments on the side. Maybe I'll try some. So far, everything has been excellent. I am very impressed. And I'm impressed at the speed that the food comes out. They are pretty on it, cooking all these dishes. And it's pretty full in here. And they get the food out right away. I don't think it even took, I don't even think it even took like five or 10 minutes for all this food to come out. It was crazy. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I was talking to Derek and telling him, looking at the Yelp reviews, you either don't like this place or you like it. It seems like more people like it. And I was coming in here indifferent. I wasn't sure what to think. But I do like the food at Sigma Tay. But you know what? So far, everything has been delicious. And I am very happy. So I, I like it. If you're looking for some good Malaysian Hong Kong style food and Singaporean food as well, definitely come down here. It is very delicious. Everything is like a flavor bomb. Lots of flavors going on. Definitely no plain food here. What I would suggest though is it seemed like people that were not happy with their food ordered the spaghetti dish or the pork chop with rice. But I, I wouldn't come here to a Hong Kong restaurant or a Malaysian restaurant to get something Americanized like that. Um, of course, your dish, I don't think, would be that great not to knock it. We didn't order it, but I don't know. If I come here, I want fried rice. I want, uh, you know, dishes from Asia and not spaghetti. So I think that's the problem. All right, I'm trying the sizzling beef. Really thin cuts of beef. And it seems like it's in a black bean sauce. All right, so black bean, just like regular Chinese food, really thin cuts of beef. It comes with some bell peppers and some onions. Mm. It's really soft. Mm -hmm. Really soft and tender. They cut it just right. And pairing that black bean sauce with some fried rice is super amazing. Yeah, Derek says, um, he has some good input, that's why you should be on camera. He was on camera on my other videos, but I don't know. He said that sometimes you get this um, at Chinese restaurants and the beef is really chewy. Sometimes or hard to chew and all the beef here is really tender and sliced really thinly. So really delicious and easy to eat. Man, more stuff. We ordered what? One, two, three, four, five dishes and I think we did pretty well. Uh, but I think we're gonna have a lot to take home. But everything was flavorful. I'm having second helpings of everything. And it's just really delicious food. So I definitely recommend coming here. I'm gonna cut this because it's getting super loud in here. Um, it's getting really lively in here. So, um, and I wish they gave free real refills because this Hong Kong milk tea is so delicious and my bear finally fell in. But yes, so if you like this, Press the like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you again on another food adventure.